Hi, I'm Dana and I'd like to share my sales from this past weekend and that would be May 6th and 7th. Um, I had uh, seven eBay sales and five Poshmark sales, um, but one of them was a bundle sale, so I sold seven items. Okay, so I think I'll go ahead and start with eBay. And let's see, let me bring that up my sales page. Okay, so first item that I'll ship out are these Nike, they're like running leggings or running pants. They're very stretchy, lightweight, and these are uh, men's. Let me find them. Um, the title for this item is Nike Pants Men's Medium Black Phenom Elite Future Fast Hybrid Running DJ 0596010 is the title. And it sold, hmm, I guess it sold in about a day. <laughs> so this is a very fast sale and it sold for $20. So I'm happy with this sale. I'm gonna get uh, the lint roller. I don't pick up Nike all the time. Um, it's something that I actually should be, you know, um, I don't know, like learning more about because it is pretty plentiful when I go shopping at the bins. But the reason I picked this one up is because it was in really good condition. So, uh, and oftentimes, you know, the more these active wear, sports wear um, items at the bins are, are pretty, um, I don't know, they can be pretty trashed. So I think when it's in really good condition, it kind of stands out a lot. Let's see. Okay. Doke. So I... I didn't do a uh, sold to shipped video last week um, because I spent the weekend, we had like a little vacation and we went to uh, Santa Barbara. And we went there to take a look at a uh, community college in Santa Barbara. Um, that's the college that my my teenager most like she wants to go to. Um, so we went there, we drove and it took about, I guess it was like maybe about four and a half hour, five hour drive. Okay. Okay, so the title for these pants are, or is REI Kombu Pants Women's Extra Large Black Capri Hiking Outdoor Active Wear. And these pants sold in about two days um, after listing. Actually, it might have been one day, one day after listing. So these sold right away um, and they sold for $16 and 50, no, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. They sold for $13. So um, this is the first time I'm selling this brand And because it sold so quickly, I'm, you know, definitely going to be on the lookout for um, more of this brand. So, yes. Yeah, so, anyways, um, like I was saying, I had a really good time in Santa Barbara. I. 
scheduled my listings for eBay um, on Saturday and Sunday. And I only, I cross-listed onto Poshmark Saturday morning before, before we left um, and then cross-listed on um, Sunday evening when I got back. So, you know, that worked out. But I think what happened was I fell behind, or not fell behind, but I didn't go sourcing over the weekend, which is what I normally do. And I actually, um, I think I had a heart, and, and because I was preparing during the week, like, you know, trying to get more of my draft uh, scheduled listings up ready, um, I didn't go sourcing. So I was listing items that I didn't really, they were kind of like, I have a, I guess I have like, I don't know if you would call it a death pile because it's all just ready to list. Um, but I had like maybe, I don't know, 25 items. And so I went through and uh, listed those last week. And um, I don't know, that you know, they were just items that I didn't really feel great about. Um, I felt like uh, they weren't as desirable and, um, you know, I've been trying to source items that are, you know, like $30 or, you know, more. Um, so those, you know, items didn't fall in that category. So, you know, there was that. Um, and so by Monday came, I don't know, I just felt really kind of exhausted <laughs> and that uh, I felt kind of behind. Um, and mainly I think because I felt like I needed to source more really good items. So um, anyways, the the next item are these uh, Lucky Brand uh, sh cutoff shorts. And this, uh, this one, the title is Lucky Brand Shorts Women's 427 blue denim cutoffs relaxed short high rise and they sold in about i would say about two weeks maybe almost three weeks so um they sold for thirteen dollars and fifty cents and Gonna fit Let me just do a check. Yeah, I guess it'll fit. I think also what happens is when I took a break from you know reselling, um, it was kind of hard for me to get back into this the groove or, you know, to really want to, I don't know, do all the different things that need to be done. So I don't know. I just felt like too sort of tired to um, do a video. And um, I think what I ended up doing is I did go sourcing uh, on Tuesday and because I kind of felt like I needed to get out of this kind of like a funk, you know? Um, and so I thought, you know, if I go sourcing, that might, I don't know, make me excited about reselling again. So, uh, so that's what I did. And I think that actually, you know, did help. So it was kind of nice to get out and see my friends at the bins um, go ahead and just, you know, source, which, you know, is something that I, I really enjoy doing. So that really helped. Okay. So next item is this linen blouse and it has this really nice, uh, ruffle detail on top with an elastic neckline here. So it could be off shoulder or on, um, 
in this very pretty, vibrant blue. It has a really nice uh, striped detail. And let me find the title. Title for this one is uh, Millie Blouse Women's Large Blue 100% Linen Ruffle Top Short Sleeve Wide Neckline. And Mill, Mill or Millie is spelled M I L L E. Um, and it's not to be confused with the other brand, which is Millie with a Y on the end, right? And um, that's just an, another brand that I know is pretty popular. Uh, anyways, this one sold, oh wow, this one sold fast. This one sold the same day and it sold for $16.50. So um, happy about this sale. I actually, I can't even remember, I don't even think I found one uh, cop on eBay. And I think I also even checked Poshmark. So this is not a very popular brand. And it's, I remember it has something like um, resort wear in the title. So I think the strength of this um, item is in the style and also in the material, you know, of uh, linen, so. Yeah, because it's not a well-known brand, I'm, you know, very happy that this sold um, pretty quickly, or very quickly, actually. So, let's see. Okay. Alrighty, let's see next. Okay, next item is um, this pair of shorts. Uh, this is Billabong. And actually, these are really cool. They have like this, I don't know, the sewn on uh, skull, um, almost like Day of the Dead style with flowers. And then it also has um, this big logo on the side, side and it's, um, it's a patch. So there's a lot of patches. There is embroidery, there's um, screen printing. There's a lot going on on these um, board shorts. So let's see, let me find the title. Title is Billabong Board Shorts Men's 34 Orange Skull Graphics Embroidered Logo Streetwear is the title and it sold, hmm. It sold in a day. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Yeah, it sold in a day. So this was a very fast sale as well. Um, sold for $12. And I just, I think I got an offer um, from the buyer and I went ahead and accepted. Um, I tend to, I think I price uh, swim trunks and board shorts probably about 16 to 18 dollars so I don't charge up too much for um, these and I'm actually able to find um, find them pretty easily at the bins so. and they're actually pretty easy to list you know to um, to list and also to photograph so you know it's something that I'll keep picking up during, you know, this uh, spring and summer, summer time. There. Okay. we have um, another pair of sort of um, performance 
active wear pants. These are Prana, um, can be worn for hiking. They're actually um, in like new condition, really a nice pair of lightweight pants. And title for this, oh, I will not move, I don't know why. Hmm. Is Prana Pants Women Medium Dark Gray Summit Capri Yoga Leggings Activewear Stretch is the title. And these um, sold in about about four or five days. So this is an you know another fast sale. Um, and they sold for fifteen dollars. So This past weekend, um, I didn't have a whole lot of sales, so I was definitely, you know, more inclined to accept offers. And I actually really like picking up Prana, so that's... Um, That's a brand that I really like to, to, to find. And it's a brand that I can find um, at the bins, you know, fairly frequent, frequently. So, you know, that's really good for me. Last eBay sale. Yes. Is this trench coat? Um, it's actually Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, really, really nice trench coat. I really like this one a lot. I love this color. I don't know if you would call this kind of like a, a very light sage green. Um, very pretty. And the um, the fabric is kind of like a, almost like a microfiber and it's very stretchy. Um, this jacket actually is unlined. So I think it's a really great sort of stylish um, coat or jacket. And let me see. The title for this is Abercrombie and Fitch Trench Coat Women's Medium Light Gray Green Raincoat Stretch. And it sold for $21. And it took about, I say about a week and a half to sell. So, um, yeah. This was a nice sale for me. Happy with this sale. And happy to sell outerwear. Um, and Abercrombie and Fitch is another brand that I'm pretty um, happy to source and, you know, pick up and then also, you know, look at comps if I have time. Let's see, what's the best way? I think I'll just do this. Yeah, this is, an, this is a really nice jacket and I really hope that the buyer loves this jacket. Okay, let's see. So, The sourcing at the bins, um, I went, I actually went Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I actually went a lot. That's a lot for me. Um, and I didn't, um, 
I didn't find a whole lot for um, selling online. Um, I do also source for um, consignment stores and um, buy sell to trade stores, you know, local selling and um, so, you know, that's, I don't know, tend to be a little bit like lower do dollar items, but it's so easy to, it's so easy to sell because I don't need to photograph and list. Um, you know, pretty much I only have to um, clean the items, fold them up nicely, and then, you know, take it over to the store and, you know, see if they'll take it. So it's very simple. So I actually, you know, really like to do that as well. Um, so yeah, I, I'd rather do it that way rather than um, taking items from, you know, my um, online stores and if they don't sell, take them over to the buy sell trades and things like that. Because I don't know, I've already gone through the work of, you know, photographing and listing. I kind of feel like I might as well just sell it online. Um, you know, so yeah, I, I like to specifically source for those stores. Um, but yeah, and I just haven't, um, my luck over at my bins, um, hasn't been as, as good as it's been in the past. And I just, I have a, a theory of why it's not as, as good, <laughs> which I'll get into in a, in a bit. But, um, but first I thought maybe I could go through, um, the comments from the, last uh, video before I start on Poshmark. And so let me just bring that up. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and um, yeah, first I wanted to, um, I, I did a, I did a haul video um, in which I went to the bins and then I also did the car haul um, video with um, my dog Sven and um, I just got some awesome awesome comments from everybody so I just wanted to thank everybody um, for all your great com comments and um, let's see I'm just gonna say thank you to um, Edna, Nequina, Kathy, Agata, Susanna, uh, Legend was here Second Wind Style, The Long Tall Lizzie, Sarah, Maggie, and that's Maggie Poshes, and also Maria Felicity. Thank you guys all so much for your awesome, awesome comments. It was so fun to, to read them. And um, yeah, I haven't responded back, but I, I'll do that shortly. Um, but yeah, I really do appreciate you all. And uh, as far as the last sold to ship comments, let's see, which was uh, sold to ship 66. Let's see. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you for your comment. Oh, <laughs> blue face smiling. Well, thank you for saying hello. I appreciate you. And let's see. Uh, hi, Gail. Thank you for your comment. Uh, so Gail says, my cost of goods averages around six to eight dollars a piece. I wish I had the bins near me. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it's, I bet though, because your cost of goods is higher, you're probably very careful about what you pick up, right? Um, yeah. Sometimes we have a fill a bag sale, but there are, but 
they're the products are mall brands so i end up with a lot of ten dollar profits but i don't have space to house that kind of thing anyway love your videos thank you oh gail thank you so much for your comment and yeah i you know what i totally understand where you're coming from um and i don't have a lot of space too you know to have sort of the high volume sort of um I guess strategy or you know style of of reselling so um you know my my challenge is to try to pick up items that will sell for a higher dollar amount so i can make more profit per item um, that also cuts back on you know how much i need to list and photograph and also how many how much i need to store you know so yeah i totally i totally hear you on that but um thank you so much for your awesome comment and um it's so good to hear from you take care hi ashley thank you for your comment so ashley says hello thank you for your videos yeah you're welcome thank you for watching uh, just an FYI, uh, FYI on the drafts eBay only using draft feature. I did 20 drafts on uh, one day and I was going to launch them later that evening. After I made dinner that night, I came back a few hours later to launch them and there was only five to launch. Oh my gosh. I lost all the drafts. Ugh, that's heartbreaking. Uh, I called eBay about this, but they did nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. They said they would report the issue and they never heard of this happening. Oh, that's weird. I, I mean, I hear about, I've heard about this from other um, resellers. So yeah, I'm, I'm so glad that you brought this up. Uh, I look on e YouTube and there were many videos of people saying this is a common thing and eBay does not know how to fix it as it is a glitch in their system. Yes. So on YouTube, this is what they told me to do. Make your listing, but schedule them out in a long date. Then when you are ready to launch them, go back into your listing and change the schedule date to that date day that you will be listing your item. This will also prevent you from occurring an eBay fee for scheduled listing. I hope this information helps. I would hate for you to do all that work and then lose the drafts like what happened to me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, thank you so much, Ashley. That's really, really sweet of you. Um, and I'm so happy that you you wrote this comment because this is you know gonna be helpful for a lot of us, right? Um, so yeah, I heard about this issue happening and um, it hasn't happened to me. Um, but I mean, that really is, well, that sucks that you lost 20 drafts. That's, you know, that's a lot of drafts. I only um, list six a day, so it's pretty small. And what I've been doing and what I heard is helpful is doing the scheduled um, listings too. And um, eBay is no longer charging for scheduled listings. It's free. So, um, you know, before I just used to put in drafts and now I put it into scheduled. And I actually, um, I just let eBay um, launch those scheduled drafts. Um, so I have them launch at 5 a.m. in the morning, the six drafts and then that way when I wake up in the morning sort of the first thing I do after I send out my um my what you call um offers to watchers I cross list on those six items that launched onto Poshmark so you know that when I have to kind of hand I do on a flip so anyways and so far, knock on wood, I haven't lost a draft um, yet. So um, so maybe that's the best way is to use that sort of scheduled feature. So yeah, 
and which is something that you're doing. Um, and you know, the way you do it is when you're ready to, um, launch your drafts that day, you take them out of schedule and you go ahead and manually launch them, which is a really good idea because then you can check your listing, you know, for any mistakes or, or whatnot. Um, but, you know, I just decided I'm just going to go ahead and launch them. And actually what I do is I look for mistakes when I am cross-listing onto Poshmark. And if I see a mistake, then I know to go back into the listing on eBay and fix it. So that's kind of what I've been doing. So anyways, um, Ashley, thank you so much for your awesome, awesome comment. I really appreciate you. Hi, Susanna. So good to hear from you. How's Alaska? I hope it's getting warmer. Uh, Susanna says, hi, Dana. I went to look at your closet at Poshmark and saw a sweater that I remember seeing it in your sold to ship video, six number 64. <clears throat> the listing is Kate Spade sweater, women's medium beige leopard print alpaca wool, blend mock neck. Um, if you have more than one for sale, ignore my comment. Um, and by the way, very good video. Um, Susanna, thank you so much for pointing that out because I totally forgot to delist that sweater. So you saved me, you know, potentially double selling that sweater, which would have been just a huge, I don't know, just a huge problem, you know, something that I, I hate doing. I hate having to cancel, you know, a sale and, um, the, I don't know, you know, I, I still feel bad when that happens on Poshmark, but um, there isn't as big of um, a repercussion um, as it is on eBay. eBay can really, you can really get um, your account, like, I don't know, less sales, like they'll send you um, less people to look at your items and things like that. You could, um, go down i could go down from top rated to you know the next level lower um so yeah definitely don't want to have those you know double sales so yes susanna thank you so so much for you know helping me out with that i really really appreciate you uh hello tim i hope i'm saying this right tim to man hi <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so Tim Timmin says, hello, I enjoy your videos. Yeah, thank you. I sold a pair of Da Nang silk shorts last week. I purchased them for a dollar at my local Salvation Army and they sold after four days for $45. Wow, that's a, snaps to you. That's a great sale. Wow. Um, I am definitely looking for that brand again. Yes. That's a great sale. Um, nice to know these bolos. I had never heard of Da Nang before, um, but it sold pretty quickly. And the comps for um, Da Nang uh, pants and then I guess, you know, shorts are, are really good. So anyways, thank you so much for your awesome comment. And, um, you know, I really appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Oh, hello, Second Wind Style. Thank you for your comment. Uh, so Second Wind Style says, hi, Dana. Thanks so much for the shout out. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, would love to see a day in the life video if you ever decide to do one. Nice sales. Yes, thank you. Um, so Second Wind Style also has a uh, YouTube channel and I'll go ahead and link one of her videos below and yes, I actually love day in a life videos. Those are probably my favorite kind of videos and not just even resellers. I like to see, you know, um, I'll follow, follow other content creators as well. Um, but yeah, that would be really fun to do. Um, maybe one day I can do a day in the life, but it is kind of, I feel kind of nervous because, you know, 
um, everyone would see my messy house <laughs> and, um, you know, things like that. But I guess that's the beauty of day in the lives. You know, it's, it's just, it's so kind of like real, you know? So anyways, one day that'll happen, I guess. <laughs> anyways, second wind style. Thank you so much for your comment. I really appreciate you. Okay. Yes. Thank you everyone for your awesome comments. And yeah, um, thank you to all the people who have been subscribing and liking the videos as well. Thank you, you know, so much. And I will go on to Poshmark now. Okay. Just bringing up the sales page and um, I'll go with this one. So I think last week was the first time I missed a sold to shipped video in I don't know how long. And it's so funny because I feel very rusty. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't, I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. So anyways, um, so this is a Poshmark sale. Um, it's a foot joy jacket, lightweight jacket. Um, there's the logo, the FJ logo. Um, it also has a, a golf course uh, embroidery on here. It says Wailea Maui, Hawaii. And this jacket is in excellent condition, like new condition. Um, the title for this is Foot Joy Jacket Men XL Beige Black FJ Short Sleeve Golf Windbreaker Rain Half Zip is the title. Okay, so uh, this item actually did take a while to sell, I think. Um, yeah, it took about a month to sell and it sold for $15. So I'm happy to move this item. Oh, wait, let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it this way. So, yeah. So I hope everyone's doing well. And um, I hope sales are good for, for you, everyone. Uh, my sales have not been that great. <clears throat> but, you know, I really do feel like it is tied to what I've been listing. Um, I think when I list better items, I feel like my I have better sales you know and so that's the trick is really trying to find those really good items and that's one of the reasons why I am um, sourcing more fr frequently and I belong to um, the, the reseller Nirvana group um, <clears throat> And that's something that Tech and Sports has really been um, suggesting to all of us is to really try to pick up items that we can make like a $20 profit on. And if we do that, you know, we don't have to sell as, we don't have to photograph and list and ship out so many, you know, items um, so that's something that I'm, I'm really trying to do okay so this one is a another pair of board shorts it's uh, actually Quicksilver and I've had these for probably about a year or maybe even over a year so th this one just did not move. <laughs> uh, 
Um, let me see. Uh, title for this is Quicksilver Board Shorts Men's Size 38, Black, White, and Red. And it sold for $5. Um, this one, I got an offer from the, the buyer and I had put this on sale and it kept going down lower and lower until it was, I think it was finally on sale for like $8 or something. And so when he offered me $5, I really did pause, but then I realized, you know what? I just really want to get, get this item moving. And, um, you know, I can find Quicksilver board shorts pretty easily at the bins. So it's not like I can't find a replacement for it, you know? So I went ahead and accepted the offer. There. So this weekend I sold a couple of Uh, swim trunks. So, you know, swim trunks are starting to move, which is kind of good to know. Another thing, um, this again. There, better. Another thing that uh, Tekken Sports has been suggesting, and I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> it totally flew out of my head. So I have to um, think about that one a little bit, sorry. Okay, next item is this, I think these are North Face, um, another pair of like hiking pants. And these are another ones that are like brand new condition. Um, nice and lightweight, stretchy. And the title for this is North Face Pants Women's Small Khaki Green Hiking Outdoor Active Wear Stretch. Um, sold for $14. And it took, oh, if I do so it took about um, four, four or five days. So this was a, a fast sale. Yeah, that bothers me, that just flew out of my mind. <laughs> I can't remember. Ugh. Yeah, it's a little scary about the whole memory thing for me, um, you know, I'm, couple years I'm going to be 60 years old and it does make me nervous about, you know, um, losing my memory. So, and I can't always just keep blaming that trip to Santa Barbara <laughs> for making me kind of feel like I'm a little bit in a fog, you know, but I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so if anyone is new, uh, I learned how to ship by watching McDrift's videos, and I'll go ahead and link one of her videos below, and she and I both use this uh, packing paper to wrap our items, and we also order um, shipping supplies on USPS.com website. And you can order it 
they'll deliver it to your doorstep and it's all free. So really, a really great resource. Um, I even get these little stickers um, from USPS.com. Okay. And all right, this item I actually had for a really long time. I think this is like a, a year old as well. And let me see. Um, so very happy to sell this. It's a uh, Columbia Women's Fleece Jacket Large L Black Brown Trim Hooded Hiking Outdoor and it sold for $15. And, you know, like I said, it probably took, you know, a year. Um, but it's a very nice fleece jacket. I think it's a really nice one. It has a hood, has this dark brown trim, you know, just for a little detail. And um, yeah, I love these, you know, outdoor fleece jackets. I think they're just so um, useful to have. So one thing with black is, you know, the amount of lint that shows up on the black fleece. And that's why actually I don't like to have for myself, um, I used to have a North Face black fleece jacket and I just decided, you know, I, I don't know, I, I don't know if I gave it away, but it just shows too much lint and, um, you know, pet fur and things like that. So it's just not for me. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I gotta remember. I'm gonna actually fold it so that the zipper is on the inside. Yes, so it's very satisfying to sell um, things that I've had in my inventory for a long time, um, especially things that are a little bit more bulky. So, you know, happy to move these items. So as far as the, um, you know, the, I like to sell through my buy-sell trade stores, um, my friend's consignment store, and I've uh, collected two IKEA bags worth of um, items. So I'm gonna try to sell them this week. And that will be good. Let's see, and I what I'll, I'll do is I'll take it to maybe like, three different stores on that day. And sometimes I'll even do four and try to get rid of, you know, sell it all. And I usually am able to sell, you know, everything. So that's good. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little, couple of these stickers on just to make sure that the <clears throat> this package doesn't open up during transit. There. Okay. Okay, and then um, last item or sale to ship out is a bundle sale. 
Um, let's see how we do this. Do this. So this is a three item bundle sale. First item is this Auden bra in this really nice uh, brown color, cocoa brown color. And let me bring this up. Um, also sold these um, North Face hiking pants. Yeah, so actually this weekend I sold, I think, quite a few hiking pants. I don't know, was it three or four of them? And this one is, um, has a little button here so you can roll them up and they can become like capri length. Um, nice and lightweight. And then the last item is, a, what is it? American Giant hoodie. And this is in gray. It's a hoodie, um, full zip jacket. Very heavy, very substantial. Um, so this, um, you know, according to comps, American Giant hoodies um, do sell pretty well, but I actually had this hoodie for a really long time. And so I think, I probably overpriced it and it just, you know, didn't move. Um, I don't know, less desirable for whatever reason. <clears throat> but I did get an offer um, on this bundle and I think it was uh, an offer like for 30 and I countered at 40 and she came back at 35. So I just went ahead and accepted and I could have, you know, declined and sat on these items longer, but I just decided to go ahead and move them. Um, this item, which I, th you know, I thought was the most valuable, just had, you know, was sitting around in my closet. So I decided to go ahead and accept the offer. And, you know, I really, really hope that the buyer, you know, loves all the items. So very, I think, you know, she got a really great deal. So, let's see. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see. I'm using a uh, large flat rate box to send out this item and Let's see, what's the best? I wonder if I can see it. I don't want to smash the cups on this, so just want to be kind of careful. Protected, yeah, it's gonna work out good. Let's see, how's my timing? Okay, yeah, and um, my mail carrier should be here in about maybe 20 minutes or so, so I have time, which is good. And then I just add a sticker on top. And this is my last Poshmark sticker. I'm gonna make some more. There, okay. So it ends up kind of looking like that.
All right, and then last is the mailing label. Okay, awesome. Okay, yeah, so anyways, that's it for this video, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. And um, also leave me a comment. Would love to hear from you. Okay, until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.